I had been observing my dad. He had been working so hard. I could see, even though I came uh, active on the farm, the, the yield was never improving so much. And then I, I had, had an impression that I needed more fertilizer. At that time, even though I was considering myself very knowledgeable, I did not have any idea how to look after the soil, that I needed to look after the soil. I was just concentrating on my, uh, my product, the sugarcane only. Our industry peaked in terms of cane production in the early 90s. We hit just slightly above 4 million. Last season, all time low, 1.8 million. There are many contributing factors. And of course, the rising cost of uh, the inputs, fertilizers. And one thing we have uh, found out in the last five years, particularly in 2012, based on our soil uh, sample results, we feel that more than 60% of our sugarcane lands have an acidity problem. I'm talking about pH levels of below 5.5. Sugarcane can thrive in conditions in uh, pH of 5.5 to 6.5, 6.9. And below that, you're starting to have some problems. Eh? To restore the soil and bring it back into this productive pH range, the application of agricultural lime is essential. During the colonial sugar refinery's time in Fiji, growers were given lime and instructed to apply it to their cane fields. Some older cane growers still remember this being practiced by their fathers and grandfathers, though at the time, they were not educated about why. Once the colonial sugar refinery had left Fiji and the sugar industry was overtaken by the Fiji Sugar Corporation, the application of lime fell out of practice. The task force was established, called the Lime Task Force, made up of uh, stakeholders. And we got together and uh, discussed how we could get around the issue of uh, this acidity, the problem of acidity. The task was given to MDF, Market Development Facility, to come up with a business plan for uh, getting this lime uh, sourced from Fiji rather than getting it from overseas. The Market Development Facility approached Standard Concrete Industries a Fijian concrete company and as, as we know lime is a concrete production waste product and market development facility said well how about we cost share and risk share with you standard concrete industries this a pilot to take that lime package it market it price it properly develop distribution channels uh, work with the Ministry of Agriculture and the sugar sector to get it out there locally at, at a more affordable price. After finding out about egg life, we realized that it's quite an essential component to agriculture. And the processing of uh, limestone into egg lime is very much similar to how we produce material for, for roads. So we had the machines available. We also had the, the limestone resource. So we thought you know, we had a good opportunity to uh, get into this egg lime market. The uptake of egg lime is still a challenge as changing the mindset of farmers is complex. The use of egg lime is to neutralize the soil due to acidity. Of use of cultivation and uh, uses of uh, weedicides, your soil becomes acidic. And this is uh, compulsive to every farmer. It helps the water penetration and uh, it will release all the new major, uh, major nutrients in the soil, especially calcium and magnesium. These two elements enable plants to grow better, better and faster. The Fiji Sugar Corporation and Standard Concrete Industries have had to use demonstration plots to assist farmers to understand the use and benefits of egg lime as a soil enhancer and not a fertilizer. So we've got to break it down. A bit of chemistry, the basic, I'll get them to understand. And then, of course, we have the farmers, it's about cost. I'm putting in $300, so how much more? How much am I getting back? So this sort of cost. So you've got to do the cost-benefit analysis for the farmers. But of course, there are farmers who just tell us to bugger off. So they've had more than 50 years of experience, right? Particularly when our young uh, extension staff go out to them. 
So the only thing is to do these plots. Seeing is believing. You can just see the difference where the egg line was applied and where the egg line was not applied. So where the egg line was applied, it was already uh, pretty green and where it was not applied, it was still you know, struggling to come up. So farmers are very visual. They need to see what's gonna, what's, they want to see the results first, then they're gonna act on it. So if uh, we keep on showing them the results, it's gonna go on smoothly. Standard concrete industries is not in the business of agricultural distribution, um, but there are plenty of companies out there that are distributing all kinds of things at the scale and size and volume of, you know, sacks of agricultural lime. However, proper distribution remained a challenge in this business model. Agricultural suppliers KK's Hardware, Global Cargo Traders and A. Hussein of Lombasa have partnered with Standard Concrete Industries and the Fiji Sugar Corporation to distribute ag lime to farmers at their farm gates. A credit facility which allows farmers to buy ag lime and then have the costs deducted from their cane payments has also helped to enable these distribution channels to develop. Because farmers, after telling them, they said, OK, you do not have the money right away. So we're telling them, look, we'll provide it to you on credit, and when your proceeds come from cane, we will deduct it from there. So that was one big plus. Hello. The response has been good. We basically, I think, got rid of about a thousand bags, and we got further orders for about a thousand two after harvesting stops. So that's when, when the farmers are trying to replant, and uh, for ratoon as well. An estimated 9,000 farming households in Fiji will be reached through these refined distribution channels. This partnership between the Fiji Sugar Corporation, Standard Concrete Industries and the distributors is leveraged on the relationships the market development facility has developed in the sector over the years. This particular story, and, and as we've discussed, not just the, the, the production of agricultural lime, but the way that to make a production like that actually have poverty reduction and economic growth benefits requires working with, you know, Fijian government and the Ministry of Agriculture, working with private sector distributors, working with the sugar, the sugar farming agencies and, and farmers, uh, with the agriculture sector in general. Joining all those dots, this is a perfect example of how a market systems approach is supposed to work. With sugar prices, particularly for sugarcane farmers, my recommendation would be to, to get on board immediately because the uh, decline in prices and everything. So if you, if you are able to uh, replenish your soil or maintain your soil, you will produce a lot of pain, right? Fairly easily. You, you don't have to work hard, you have to work smart.